Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching Furute. So finally, the day came. Nothing started to roll out. The new Nothing OS 3.0 beta update is for Nothing Phone 1. New Nothing OS 3.0 has some exciting features and it's completely overall of the Nothing OS 2.6. I'm very excited for this update. Finally, I installed it on my device and today we are going to in-depthly review the manual installation and all the new features added by the Nothing team. We also discuss some missing features of the Android 15 along with the minor bug I have found. So please watch this video till the end. If you are new to our channel, we request you to please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Because we always try to in-depth review different custom ROMs, mods, stock OS, updates for nothing phone one. Now without further delay, let's get started. It's a new Let's first check out how you can try these beta updates on your device. For this, you need to be on the latest Nothing OS version 2.6 dated 31st October 2024. Now download this Nothing OS offline updater application, install it as a normal APK. Now go to the system and at the bottom of the setting, you will get the new option to update to the beta version. Open it. Next tab to check for the new update. If you get this notification new version 3.0 of 1.2 GB available, just tap download package. Once download gets completed, tap on the install update. Once you get the update successful, tap on the reboot. That's it. Now phone will reboot and start to flash the new update on the device. This whole process will take 2 to 5 minutes and the device will boot to the new nothing was 3.0. Who gets this new setup wizard of Nothing OS 3.0 with the smooth taste introduction of the new Nothing OS. This looks very clean and the smart way of introducing the new update I ever seen on any device. First we'll check out the about device details of the new Nothing OS 3.0. Its build number is Space War version 3.0 dated 11 December 2024. Finally, we got the Android 15 test on our Nothing Phone 1. Security patch is also updated to the latest November 2024. Kernel version is same like old version, it's 5.4.274. This update is based on the Google's new Android 15 stable source code. Now we'll take a tour of complete changes and the features of new Nothing OS 3.0. First one is a new widget panel. Who gets this new Nothing OS widget panel? While if you scroll to the right side, who gets this widget section of all other non Nothing OS applications? Nothing team has smartly separated both the widgets in the easy accessible panel. If you choose any widgets, you can take a preview of all the application widgets at the bottom before actually applying them. For Nothing Photo widgets, Nothing team added some one interesting shared widget feature. It's currently only available for the photos widget with the square shape which will links with your friends and family. And you can see their photos, movements and can also react on them. So it's a new way of stay connecting with your close ones. I don't have any other nothing for one so I can't able to show you how it's actually working. Next is a new smart AI powered app drawer. This new app drawer can be activated through the three dot menu setting. This will automatically group your application into the different apps categories like social applications, entertainment, multimedia and so on. As per their uses, it's very useful to quickly access the application in the app drawer without scrolling the long list in the app drawer. We also get the easy way to access the app drawer search by swiping up on the home screen. Who can hide any application in app drawer and can access them by swiping right from the left edge of the app drawer. Next feature added by the nothing for the app drawer is a new AI based app suggestions for the most user application on the top of the app drawer. Who can pin any application in this app suggestion list too. Next interesting features are for the new lock screen customizations. Who can access the lock screen customizations by the wallpaper and style setting or by long pressing directly on the lock screen. Who gets the new expanded widget space so we can now add more widgets on the lock screen. Widget section divided into the small squares so we get idea how many small and the big widgets can be added on the lock screen. 
Voice again, the new wake the phone after lifting it so we can immediately access the notification on the lock screen. By long pressing on the lock screen, we can immediately customize the lock screen widgets without leaving the lock screen. Next changes are related to the user interface, especially the quick setting panel. Here now we guess the more rounded QS panel dials. While editing the QS panel, we also guess the new square shaper UI. One new QS panel tile for the music visualization is added by the Nothing team. Brightness slider is more rounded and looks more materialistic as compared to the previous versions. Setting panel is also got slightly changed. Now it has more rounded cards like settings panel. But I didn't find anything related to the network and internet setting as per the change log, which are mentioned in the update. Next changes are related to the camera. Who gets the faster camera access when you access the camera widgets on the lock screen or on the home screen? Processing speed for the HDR photos and the video shoots are now reduced as compared to the previous version. For countdown photos, who gets the new smooth user interface experience? Even we get the new improved zoom slider while zooming in or out the senses in the camera application. Next is a new special feature for the multitasking while floating windows, called as the pop-up views available in the special feature option in the setting. It's enabled by the default, but we get the another toggle called as the expanded notification. We can open any running application in a floating window by dragging it on the top of the screen. The app will be open as the new pop-up window. We can expand this pop-up window in any size by dragging its corners. On the top of the window, we get the shortcut. By dragging the middle bar, we can move the window anywhere on the screen. By using the top left button, we can minimize the window and can pin it on the edges of the screen. We can also minimize the window and can pin it by the dragging it on the corner of the screen edges. If you get any application heads up notification, you can open the application in a floating window by just dragging the notification to the middle of the screen. It's a true multitasking feature, but in some manner it feels copycat of the OnePlus Open Canvas feature, but still is a great addition. Next is the Auto Archive feature, which will run in the background and cleans up the non-usable cache, junk files, and app data once you close the application. So you don't need to manually do everything like Google's file manager offers. Next is a new signature dot matrix charging animation. When you connect the device to the charger, this looks very nice. We also get the new fingerprint unlock animations. This is also similar to the dot matrix style. Next you get the predict to back gesture means if you hold the back gesture, we can slightly preview the previous page of the application. Currently, it's only working in the stock setting application. I cannot see it's working in any other application. So these are some interesting and unique features of the new Nothing OS 3.0. But I also caught some missing features and one minor bug in the OS. I didn't got the new Android 15 feature called as the split screen app pairing. This is accessible in the recent panel when you long press on the split screen application. Similarly, private space apps feature is also not available until now, which can be found in the security and privacy setting of the device. Also, did not get the adaptive vibration setting in the sound setting of the device. New expanded volume panel of the Android 15 is not added by the Nothing team. They are still using their old volume panel control style, but they are also looking very clean and attractive. Who gets new partial screen recording for the specific application, but when I tried to do the screen recording for the Chrome or any other application, I got the error sometimes or the screen recording was not completely finished. It's hanging and not fully got recorded most of the time. So these are some minor bugs are there in the new Nothing OS 3.0. But in other words, it still feels more mature and well organized with the new features and the new look. I definitely recommend you to try this new update. In the next video, we'll discuss how we can roll back to the stock Nothing OS 2.6 if you didn't like this update until you guessed the stable OTA. So please stay tuned to our channel, do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.